We're all getting older. Name of the poem. Oh, here, let me repeat. Hello. Hello. The lighting's bad. And uh, I was just going to read the poem, but let me just, you know, kind of talk for a second. Mm. Drink. Don't feel like getting up and making the lighting good. I was in a slightly pissy mood about this and that and the other. Oh, yeah, I was frustrated at my phone. I'm, like, trying to figure out how to split the apps and shit. And it's like, well, I I thought I fucking knew how to do it. And then I finally fucking did it. And then I just don't, you know, whatever. Fucking, so this poem that I'm about to fucking read, I made July, you know, 18th, 19th, 20th, somewhere around there, I guess. And uh, now I'm going to read it. It's about a half a month old then. Yeah, here we go. It's called, We're All Getting Older. And I'm getting bolder. I'm one month 31, and life is still very fun. I'm challenged and rise to it. And like a portal or conduit, I make it through every level, and I scale every rung. So who'll all tune in to the shit that I brung? Or please, I'll keep bringing it, and you all can stay hung. On some bated breath, the weighted chef's marinade's blessed. And though I get hung up on rhymes, the point always comes in due time. I'm sure drinking tonight, and tonight my games went my way. Many have finished first place in Mario Kart in the sacred Smash Bros. fight fray. I'm better at both when I'm drinking, and I sometimes say... Win or lose, well played. And in truth, like life, I know I bring pause to about all I face. Pause the poem real quick. <laughs> the games did not go my way tonight. I've been up and down tonight. It's not been the fucking worst night. I'm glad I have this fucking packaging. Because I've just been kind of beating it up. Just whenever it, see, I broke it. And it's, a good, it's good to have something to fucking just break. Okay, you know, I've been wanting to read this poem for a while, and I'm just like, fucking whatever, let's do it. And Okay, unpause, back to the poem. But indeed, to be sure, we're in the thick of it, eh? As our story goes on, as Capitan, I must latch on to a steady pace, and produce as well as consume as a balanced hybrid human ace. I save face by sharing prose in this ever slightly lacking virtual YouTube space. In it to win it with the almighty, everlasting human race, only propelled forward by God's grace, and for hope's sake I never break. No matter how hard evil shakes, it's like I'm internally braced for the quakes. I'm eternally spliced with the snakes. And redemption's within reach always, so long as I continue to awake. Getting older and wiser together forever. I'm unfettered when it comes to my tether. Prose is my strength, and I share it for all to discover. There can be no rush to wholeness, my sisters and brothers. Oh, by the way, you can read along in the description. Right right there below in the description. Okay. Veganity's a thing humanity needs. Thankfully, the future seems to breed a stronghold for these things. These golden rule-abiding principles. These oneness vibe magnet things, if you will. Yet, remember, sometimes these vegan comments with playful strife I leave can be what helps us all hang on to life in this chaotic fight. We're all getting older. Even the fetuses, which are still yet sadly aborted. And at some crucial point, pro-life's the notion which will ever, which will be ever popularly heeded. It's this braver stance which is sorely needed. Until I mirror it more, in general, I can't expect things to not be so damn dumb and heated. Speaking of heat... I think war in itself could be stopped if I, uh, if one world superpower were not unlike the global cop, the global cops. 
right? My mind goes to the United Nations. The name itself implies a peaceful notion. And I'd like to help breed a loving potion which helps stagnate and stifle all corrupt commotion. If I were there, I'd have a list of nations, fair, and those in need of more moral devotion. From there, I think the cold, yet door-open shoulder, would serve best to those which are most dry in need of lotion. And so, I still sew this needed suture, this stitch which bridges the past and future. I'm a rogue, candid, clemency-culling bandit, the devil, though not necessarily beyond being reprimanded. All the copious blessings in this life I've been handed, and to hoard them abhors what could be mutually rebranded. Nobody wants to feel idle, isolated, or left abandoned, and so I'll defy a pattern which otherwise leaves us all stifled and stranded. I stand firm in my faith of our one shared soul whom planned it. This grand story of ours once seemed eternally doomed, dire, and damned, and only through infinite hope with diligent and defiant soul full of grit through grime follow through can we can we ever older spirits deliver on what we all fucking came here to fucking do. <sighs> there you go. I read my poem. It's called We're All Getting Older. It's a type of poem where if I didn't finally just share it already, I'd be a big fat piece of fucking shit. So I'm glad I finally did it. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. It's the only video that's on my channel right now because I decided to private all my previous videos, which was only a few that I made last month. Uh, I can always, I'll unpri you know, I can, I can put them back up. That's the beauty of putting things on private rather than deleting them, which is what I wish I did to all my older videos, which I sadly deleted instead of just on uh, putting them on private. That's okay. Um, there you go. I hope you liked it. Now, granted, I didn't do the best job of reading that poem aloud, but I think I did a pretty good job. You know, it's 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 not the long, it's not the shortest poem, and it's not too long. And uh, you can read it yourself in the description. You know, and uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in and watching. You know, I mean, shit, dude, I get, I get mad about, everybody should be vegan. What I say should go. People should recognize who I am. I was Jesus. Jesus was one incarnation of Lucifer. That's me. Jesus was one, and Elvis was another, and now it's me. And I should just, people should, I mean, enough people already fucking know. And it should be the way it goes. YouTube. Let me, you know, say hi to YouTube in general and say, well, oh, YouTube, yeah, they ban me when I leave a comment like, you know, I call people fucking faggots because I say, oh, go to fucking, go vegan. Fuck you, fucking faggots. <laughs> you know, and, and the comments are more creative than that, but in general, they really don't like that word faggot, sadly. But it's like, you know, suck it up, man. Like, YouTube should be, able, you should be able to just fucking post the comment and fucking it should be up to I don't know do they really have to ban it like fucking who gives a fuck you know like it's the internet it should be freedom of speech and if people don't like it they can just not respond they can all say oh well he's an asshole we're not gonna like his comment we're not gonna respond why does YouTube have to come and fucking say oh no 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 like you know in a, in a better world YouTube would fucking just chill the fuck out and let people comment what they fucking want to comment. But I digress. They did. They did uh, stop me from commenting for 24 hours. I don't give a fuck when I'm really in the mood to fucking and I post it and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be banned. You know what they've done in the past? Ban me for more than 24 hours. 
So guess what? I guess they're easing up. Be happy about that, I guess. At any rate, I think this poem fucking is badass. I hope you do too. Read it. You know, read it yourself. Listen to it back. I did a pretty good job uh, reciting it, I think. I could have done better, but, you know, I think I did pretty good. Okay, that's it. I fucking love you. Good shit. <laughs>